the priming bulb. Don't know if you see that, but uh, look at that. It's split. Now I could change it over with the old one, but I've gone and get it. I've gone and got a new one. So I'm going to replace the uh, bulb with this part here, which cost me about uh, approximately 300 yen. Yes, I know it says Hikoki Tanaka, but um, they wanted 600 yen for the Makita part. And this is only half the price. Exactly the same thing, probably made in the same factory. In order to replace this bulb, I figure there are two ways to get in here. One is to remove the carburetor on the left hand side here. Um, I don't like that idea. And the other idea would be to take off the recoil. Four screws only. I think that would be the quickest way. Well, I'm really glad I decided to take the four screws from the recoil. They actually slipped right out. They were loose. That was a shock. I found I only had to release those two and pull these out to let the tank drop out. This is very easy. So I think I figured the best way out. Taking the carburetor off was not the way to go. Take the petrol tank off. So now that the petrol tank's just slipped out of the way, I've got to be careful not to lose these rubber pads here. They could fall into the grass and I'll be cactus then, won't I? Well, there's three of them. In fact, I'll take them off right now before I lose them. One, two, and three. Safely out of the way. Go. Almost there. Okay, it's properly seated. Now we get the petrol tank back okay, on. Okay, the job's done, it works. All I needed was a Phillips screwdriver. The large tweezers came in handy to reach down those screws in because I didn't feel that they were magnetic enough and uh, that's it much easier than I thought well, I'll try to give it a start <clears throat> well, that surprised me it started straight away What I don't understand is why, after only two years, had it failed when this one, where are we? This one's ten and a half years old, this bulb. They don't like, they don't make them like they used to.